We're ready to start our match. This is a testament to these bowlers' desire to bowl that they've yeah, all right. come here from at least an hour and a half away today. We have Danielle Manser and Caitlin Connerty starting out our show. Danielle Manser is ready to throw out the first ball. And here we go. Nice hard fireball, Dan. Oh. Look like a strike. Late backdoor breaking there. Left to right, a little unusual for a right-handed bowler. Just got some tricky wood in there, Steve. We had to do a little wheeling and dealing today with our bowlers. We definitely did in this one. Uh, actually, this was one of our smallest events in the, in the five-year history of our show. Uh, being the month of May, might be a tough month for a lot of uh, bowlers. The yeah. state championships are over. Uh, the travel leagues are over. So a lot of kids are all done bowling, and uh, they pretty much put their bags away for the summer. But we still had a decent crowd here today. It's a vocal crowd. They're making up for their size and uh, volume. We had an extra girl bowling uh, in the older age group. And uh, what we did was we knocked down the youngest, the youngest one and brought them down. Caitlin's 15. And uh, she had the lowest score today of the three girls from the 15 and the 18 age group. So we brought her down uh, so we could have a match here because we were one bowler short. Mansur with her second consecutive 10. So it's a two string total that determines our champs today. And who will be moving on to the championship show. We have all our trophies lined up on lane 10. We'll see if uh, Evan gets a shot of those later. So you talked a little bit about bringing down Caitlin Connerty from the older age group. I heard from her grandmother last night at a function at Pilgrim Lanes something I didn't know about Caitlin. She kind of has been ambidextrous for the last five years. She's gone back and forth from bowling with her left hand to right hand, and they're trying to settle on which hand is actually going to be her dominant hand. She's on left hand this year. It'll be next year, but last year she bowled with her right hand throughout the whole season. Dan, had you not told me that, I would have never known. I didn't know either before last night. Interesting. I should take some lessons for her from her. I wouldn't I, mind using my left hand. I can't bowl that well with my left hand, I'll tell you that. Well, after three frames, it's 29-24 in favor of Mansur and Carroll. Caitlin Connerty qualified for today's show on games of 87, 78, and a big 105 third game for a 260. While Danielle Mansur was really smoking hot today. She had old games of 106, 113, and 111 for a, a solid 330. Oh, nice fair. shot. Nice shot by Connerty. Here's that first spare of the first spare of the match. We have Chris Winniars on score scoreboard again this week. This should be a very competitive match, Steve. I'm thinking this is going to come down to the last box of the last string. Let's see if I'm right. It'd be nice to see a real, a real tight, high-scoring match. Nice ball by both ladies. Manser with the triangle, left side. Just going to wait for the wood to settle down. Connerty with a two-pin split. Oh, look at that. Wood's going after the six pin. Oh! You're kidding me, Steve. Wood snapped out of the gutter with force, too. That thing slid across, across and alley. just missed. Manser with a great second and third ball. Could have had that spear. Didn't have much luck. A nice 47 half of Manser without a mark. That's very respectable bowling. Connerty with a big 52 half. And a five-pin lead for her and her partner, Kendra Boomhauer. Sean Carroll and Kendra Boomhauer should be a good match, too. Oh, Carroll a bit. slipping, going over the line. Sean's going to reset. Sean had a foot foul on that ball, so he's got, uh, he reset, and he has two balls remaining. He didn't like that leave anyway. He had a nice, clean leave here. Easy spare, Sean. Kendra. I like seeing the bowlers make these shots. <laughs> All the way, and she's still, her bowlers are a little anxious. <laughs> Kendra with the one seven. Nice ball, nice recovery by Carroll. Nice ball by Kendra Boomhauer, and she makes the ten. 
I think she'll be okay this one. Kendra. Kendra. Let Sean go for us, okay? Nice nine. Nice out by Carroll. It's 56 62. Four boxes remaining here in our first game. At the end of our show, our, all our kids will be trying for the high low jack. It's the 1710 pin. And they'll be uh, going for a $50 gift card if they can make that shot on the first ball. If they don't make it on the first ball, we'll, we'll allow them to continue to shoot at it with the second and third ball. And if they can clear the deck, they'll receive a $5 Friendly's or McDonald's gift card. Their choice. Nice try by Carol, Dan. Well, as he caught it on the outside, a lot of times that carries here, Steve. It's one of my houses that I bowl in regularly. You usually see that go, but he had no luck. Couldn't get the seven pin to carry. Going for the ten. Out to the right. And it's a nine box. Oops. Kendra Boomhauer with a five. It's a close match. Two pins. Anybody's ball game, close. Dan. We knew this one would be close. These teams are very evenly matched. We have three teams that have already qualified for our championship show. And we're looking for one more. The higher they can hit, the better, uh, better off their chances are of gaining a top seed. We'll have a ladder format where the third place and third and fourth seeds will bowl each other in a one-string match with the winners moving on. The top seeds will be guaranteed a two-string championship match. The champions will receive $100 in gift cards. And all our runners up will receive $20 in gift cards each. But we have a lot of prizes to give away next month. There'll probably be over $1,000 worth of prizes given away next month wow. at, at the championship show. 600 just to the winners alone in gift cards. It's a lot, of, a lot of reason to come back for the championship show. Hope we get a good crowd for the live Nice paper. ball. Nice ball by Kendra Boomhauer. Sean Carroll's got a shot here, Dan. Yeah, would you? The outside probably, right? Hopefully the ball carry the... Oh, didn't quite catch the head pin. I think his main goal was to hit, hit, hit the pin. object pin. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it be on the inside or the out. Isn't that... That should be what we all try to do. Sometimes we all get a little too fancy. Then just hit it on the last ball and see it go, and it feels kind of bad. Oops. Oh. A little bit of a foot follow, yeah. He's There's a nice foot coming ball. up on the line. It'll be a seven. Boomhau with a nine. We're in our final frame of the first game. It's 79-85. Maybe if we ask politely, Steve, our crowd will tell us what the top seed hit for this age group. <laughs> They knew what it was they're, last week. They're an educated crowd we have here. They're good. We're going to hire them for next season. It's good they work to know that they're watching the show, That's right. Man. I wonder if they'll work for Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. We can get them to keep track, do posters for us. Could be a big help. That is one of our plans for next year is to come up with a, a poster with all yeah. our records. Yeah, one that we can move the names up and down. It'll be very nice. Kids will like that, I'm sure. The audience will appreciate it. You and I will get together this summer, go over all our changes and what we need to do. We'll be hoping to start, uh, whether it be the third or fourth week in August, we'll start up season six, hopefully at the Sunset Lanes in Newport, New Hampshire. And we'll make our rounds from, from there. We'll head over to Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill or the Woburn Lanes in Woburn. And we'll finish probably at the Mason Lanes in December. So after the first game, Manser and Carroll at 89, Connerty and Boomhauer 92. It's a three-pin difference in the match. Anybody's ball game uh, going into this final string. We're going to go to break, and we'll be back with game two in just a few moments. Okay, guys, I don't know if you want to. I want to see three marks in a row. You can do Oh, my Snickers bar. Woo! 